Multi-code RTX technology from Luminix is used for a probe-free, real-time PCR multiplex assay. Multicode uses isomers of the base pair cytosine and guanine, also called ISO-C and ISO-G. In the isomer pairs, the carbonyl group and amine groups are switched. This is a standard base pair. This is the bonding pattern for the pair. When the carbonyl group and amine groups are switched, as they are in iso-base pairs, the bonding pattern changes. This means iso-C and iso-G can only hydrogen bond with each other and cannot hydrogen bond with naturally occurring C and G. With multicode RTX technology, one primer is labeled at the 5' prime end with an iso-C covalently attached to a fluorescent reporter. Nucleic acid strands separate during the denaturing step of PCR. During the annealing step, the ISO-C labeled primer can hybridize to the complementary target strand if present. An unlabeled primer used for amplification attaches to the opposite strand, becoming a target during the next PCR cycle. The strands are extended. The nucleic acid now has ISO-C with the attached reporter incorporated. During the subsequent PCR cycles, when the unlabeled reverse primer extends, the ISO-G can now be incorporated opposite to ISO-C. ISO-G has a covalently attached quencher molecule, DAPSL, that decreases the fluorescence of the reporter on ISO-C. Other real-time PCR reactions have the reporter and quencher on a probe. When amplification takes place, an increase in fluorescence is seen. The way the reporter and quencher are used in multicode means a probe is not required and a decrease in fluorescence is looked for instead of an increase. The decrease in fluorescence, with the incorporation of more and more ISO-C and ISO-G pairs, is directly proportional to the amount of amplicon. This graph shows the decrease in fluorescence. CP, crossing point, or CT, cycle threshold, is the point at which fluorescence decrease is statistically significant. After PCR cycling, a thermal melt is performed. The temperature of the solution is raised in half degree Celsius increments. This continues until the nucleic acid strands begin to separate. Fluorescence increases as the quenchers and reporters lose proximity. The temperature of this reaction is very important. A GC base pair has three hydrogen bonds, whereas the AT base pair has two. This means the GC pairs are more difficult to break during denaturing. A calculation can be applied to the ratio of GC to AT pairs to estimate the temperature at which a target nucleic acid strand will split apart. The melt curve is graphed to confirm the specific target is present as well as checking for contamination. The point when 50% of the strands are separated is the melting point. The melt signal is seen in three points. Before the peak, the signal is not changing because the temperature is too low. As the temperature increases, the rate of change increases. The peak of the curve takes place at the point at which the rate of change is the highest. Then, the temperature is still increasing, but the amount of amplicon to melt is running out. The rate of change starts to decrease until all the amplicon is melted and the rate of change is back to zero. This thermal melt curve can act as a quality check. If the curve occurs at an unexpected temperature, something is wrong with the reaction. Multiplexing in multicode is achieved by using different reporters to attach to ISO-C. The fluorescence will not change for the targets that are missing, but will decrease during PCR cycles if the target is present. Multicode RTX is a probe-free, real-time PCR multiplexing technology. By using reporter-tagged ISO-C and quencher-tagged ISO-G base pairs, a decrease in fluorescence can be measured when they bind. These modified base pairs are not part of a probe. They are incorporated into the nucleic acid sequences individually. A thermal melt can then be done to verify the results. 
Multicode RTX technology is one of Luminex's novel chemistries for nucleic acid-based assays.